but I think in this kind of situation, it can be somewhat threatening for a virus to try and step up into a lot of these team fights. When you've got a Cassante, he's going to be trying to play on that front line. The opportunity for Arel to find those engages as well. Scale. So we're happy to take the deficit that may be presented as long as we can uh, continue to put the pressure on. But Adam here with Shao. I mean, Shao is going to be level two here. Remember, he's got flash available as his Carthus, so he can just insta dive and die himself if he so chooses level three picked up now as well tp from wonder trying to get on out lebrov he's not going to flash shattering right. shao is now here in bot side that's what we we're talking about before dacta i mean ice lebrov push up the one plate they get themselves in an okay position they move away but dredge line changes all that lebrov goes to half hp as yankos is here to support as well remember shielding available for trimby not in time he flashes over the wall while meanwhile flacken is just doing the dirty on lebrov yankos is out of there no so flacken is in a one versus two in a car as he still manages a double kill given over but ice gets one two I mean, two kills going across the Heretics to the top side, as is Flackard, whereas that wave gets caught for BDS. So nicely done, but Shao. Hello there. Well, he's going to get locked down. Root Caller comes through. Zvira in a great position. Shao's already flashed away, but it's matched, and that's a shove and a half. Shao's just going to drop one down, and without ulti, he is now going to be losing out on the grubs. It's BDS's turn to get some of that gold back in their pocket. You can see pings are going down, Dagger. No, I think Heretics... Okay, well, they Never might mind. get Lebrov's walking forward. Ivan does enough damage here, and Daisy is here to play. Double knock-up with Ignite as well, but jump on in, though. And Nuke in the nick of time just comes through as Lebrov even gets a kill. The Grub do something bot. Ice is just screwed. There's <laughs> nothing <laughs> nice. you can do. Root Call has cleansed away. Daisy is now zoning out. Look at this sixth champion. One, two, and three for the pop. Ice does get knocked up. Chains of Corruption follow through, but now the new target is Lebrov, who just cannot move. Oh. But a flash away in the end, and the damage is not enough. Somehow, and the name has even walked all the way up from bot after getting a neutral wave to get involved too. Yeah. You do have to be careful as Heretics, because you can't play off a Shale having that Black Fire Torch. Look at the damage, oh, I mean, okay. back while there's the engage, the root caller comes through, but Lebrov has already done the work with the Magnet Storm, and Cherry picks up the kill. A one-for-one -one trade with supports dropping on down. Everyone walks up. Push at the moment. You see Wonder moving up because he has no teleport to try and help out there. But oh. here comes BDS. You all in, remember that ulti and speak of oh. which is a jinx. The Requiem follows through, and Flacket's going to get hit, helps the burn down, and the kill eventually. Good sidestep away from Zvira as another rock comes oh, out. Nuke. Another sidestep from Nuke as well. Trimby can't get a lead. And a launch on is back on in. Adam looking for another flip. The damage being done is back on in is Lebrov too. He just respawns and just like his counter support, he's in for the action. Oh. The damage wasn't enough. Nuke, bit of a miscalculation, but a close one at that. And look at top lane. Ice this entire time is just like, yeah. Both the Leandri's Anguish and Blackfire Torch. So this combo is really strong on Karthus. And an well, well, might need to help out here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, might need to. <laughs> Lebrov could be the one caught out though. Let's see. Ice is also isolated for Team Heretic. Finding two quick picks as Wonder now getting some of the gold, but Flacken yoinks it away. And from range, he gets a shutdown, which turns the tide a bit in Team Heretic's favor again. Disrespect for from BDS. They're going topside for. Oh, Adam, well, what are you doing here? As well, you've got a question, Dacta. He's got nothing to get on out. He's going to W into a wall. Flacken gets another kill. And the early game is looking hella strong from the from the bounce back from the three and a half k gold bounce back that is gonna be stunned up what are we doing trimby caught with his pants down and it's time to pull him up son ice is gonna get the kill and just like that we do the do -si do has always given them has already rather given them an opening in this game Lebrov is going to show us yet another one. Root Caller follows through from the dredge line. There's Chains of Corruption as well. Everything used into Lebrov. He gets flashed away from, but the Magnus Storm does its job. Redemption gives him a lifeline here. He's into the back line. Wonder's just taking business himself. He runs through, takes a while to die, but ends up being a trade. The top laners sacrifice their lives to the better cause. But with four members moving away and only... Uh, no, no, Control Ward gets it. So they start it off. Team Heretics have got a sus feeling. Yeah, they just figured it out now. I think it was the blue ward went down, but not only the plus. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh my, my God! Lebrov! The Magnet Storm sets it up, but the damage isn't there yet. So Lebrov's going to die, but Ari's efforts in vain. Adam tanks up Nexus. Wonder's angle is even better. It looked brilliant. It looked perfect. But Team Heretics fight back. They've got their spots and their angles set up nicely. And what looked brilliant, what looked game-ending, it's a reality check from Team Heretics. Yeah, unfortunately, Rel does not deal damage. So although it looks swanky and funky, there was uh, nothing there. And uh, running into a Nautilus. No, 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 no. That is not the way.
Maybe we need to put the int back in. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> LeBrov once again, off on the side. Wonder has gone to collect the top lane, so this Ooh. could be the moment. Mega Angle again. LeBrov's already found one before. The engage is a one man onto Yankos, but it is the jungler is going forward. It's easy. Magnus Storm lures him in. It's Flacken is next on the menu too, and Ice gets the free fire from behind. Nuke goes in on a weird angle, and he might die for it, but as he walks away, Zvaro and Wonder are too far gone. Even getting Shao in the way is enough as Ice That's is tearing through. A Penta for Ice out of left field is the perfect way to end. I was just watching Wonder to see what he could do. I was like, hang on, that's his quadra kill on my screen. Ice picking up the five man slam down as BDS was shut heretics. I mean, there's a reason he was on the top of our list for 80 carries last split, wasn't there? It's a nice way to intro. It's a nice way to set yourselves up for two and zero to <laughs> open sorry, things up. up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got the plastic bag out. LeBron's like, all right. The mice is going in first. He's done. He's done his job. And to be fair, BDS, this was a much cleaner game than yesterday. A well-deserved 2-0 and pentakill to lead them into the standings. What a sick performance from BDS. And shout out to Shea as well, because I kind of had this guy pegged as this is the tank player. This yep. is the guy who is going to be that main engage tool. We saw a lot of the course, the history for BDS, but stepping up now on these carries, having a performance like that in the Karthus, setting up ice for that pentakill as well. This was really cool stuff from BDS. And I think as well, showing the adaptation, like the lane swap comes through, back to match normal lanes. Okay, it goes badly. We go back to the lane swap. We keep it innovative. And the other big thing as well is seeing the, the reaction from people like but while Rogue do their final lock-in, Dag, there's something I want to mention. With the Viego lock-in here for Marcoon, a lot of time with the Viego, you need a lot of burst to set up the reset and build the compositions. Uh, top side, I think he's going to thrive even further, already having a good matchup, as you can see, in this top side. So I'm expecting big things from Photon as this Ooh. bit goes on, as Marcoon spotted. Yeah, junglers are going to fight it out. Bot lane doing the same as well. Satchel charge from Kazi, but he's low on mana as the Unbreakable goes up, and Hilly's in a bit of trouble. He's exhausted. He flashes, but it's matched here. Comp steps back, though. He's out of range of Hilly. He was scared of Linces because Joeli's also committed forward. Linces here with the punish is massive as now this bottom lane of Rogue has stepped too far, and in the neck of time with a fate sealed, Video cleans it up. There's first blood, there's second blood, and Linces makes it his own as Rogue is hit hard. And two kills over to your Yone early. I have seen this story before, and it is not a good one for Rogue as the all-in comes through. Flash still available. Video holds on. He gets stunned up, though. A double shuffle back, and he holds onto the summoner, but dies. Hilly has made the roam, but he can't get out with the Zenith Blade. Tries to run to the 2v2. The flash from Linces might have caught out as Hilly gets a stun on the way back as well. Survives for so long. The only is there. Is there the arrow for the counterplay, but Linces again is showing up Rogue. Vitality, meanwhile, are getting taken in the top side. Photon versus Finn. Hextech Ultimatum, flash over the wall. Action is just beginning in this game. Scary. Karzi has a tier, not a huge amount of combat stats, even on the last chapter. So this is why Rogue still feel confident to look for this play. For Larson, I'm looking at that flash timer. It's not up and available just yet to make the mega plays. Oilies sends up the unbreakable though, and in a choke, it might be okay as Linces can't get on out. He's interrupted with his Weaver's Wall, so kill picked on up. Rogue looking for a little bit more as a seismic shove would seal another deal. And yes, there might be a push here from video in our picture-in-picture, picture, but second dragon for Rogue now looks unstoppable. Nice job from Rogue. Work well together to get position now, video. Oh, let's it go. Video gets out of the way, or rather Larson does as the trade comes on back, but ulti for ulti. Top to comp needs to clear that, which means at least one Void Grub will be taken here by Vitality. I mean, even more arrow comes in, Lenses flashes away, but it exposes his AD carry. He's stuck in place, no Ooh, ult. Him off, but the ult, the shuffle back, maybe a counter play, so he's had to sacrifice his life. Kazi, lucky to be alive, Rogue used a lot to try and get in the back line, but now with the side shot being set up on comp, he has to flash away a good Ali, They're still trying to accelerate that set lead. Photon might be in a bit of trouble, depending on what Finn can do, or the other way around, excuse me, because Photon has some friends. There's the Hextech ultimatum, and he kites away. Nicely done from the top laners. As to get out, Finn tries his hardest, but Photon matches that flash, and now Bot will be open in the nick of time as well. Yeah, Vitaly going to keep on pushing, but here comes the counter punch. Well, again, there's no Mercs coming through, so he's just going to stand there, accept the damage of Fate Seal, interrupts it. Marcoon gets in the way. That flash was genius. And so Elise, with a quick oh. auto Winter's Bite, will die for the trade. But it still might open up mid with a big Herald push to come. But Karzi's still on bot side, and he's never used the Satchel on the first tower. So second tower going to get Satchel down. So two towers for it, basically an even trade as a yeah. rogue. Yeah. Control the map much easier. 
here. You can get away with, I guess, egregious backs. And as the arrow comes through, whoa! He flashed into it. Lift just flashed into it. Heartbreak around. He's stuck in place. It's his first day. Well, it's his second day, but it still counts. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. Good sidestep from video in the meantime. Well, it's where Rogue are putting the pressure. It's always Healy again. Face checking through. See, so well, he's going to take this up as Rogue are moving into position. They've got numbers advantage for now. Cars, he's got range advantage, but Lins is now with the Weaver's Wall. Zone's on off, and Markun has to take another route. Good dodge away from the Zenith Bladers. The Mega Inferno Bomb is also dodged, but here comes Video onto this from support. He looks for his charge. He finds it, and Photon finishes the kill. Boy, things like Yone's and these things where he can be a bit more mechanically safe. Sound. I'm excited to see video. Let's hope you don't cast a curse. This arrow's coming up, but he's flashed on Marco and still gets him anyway, altered into the wall. That does that he's going for. You know, there's yes, it isn't as much, but you also lose out on a lot of say, if you want to go for Leandris, you're losing out on that burn. Yeah. There's still a lot you're losing. Even if it isn't just raw AP, there are other stats that you Oh, hang on, let's pause, because Hilly might be in trouble. He stepped forward to try and dissuade them, but he gets caught out, runs into Rogue head on. And as he charges like a bully, for Vitaly to operate in that style because Rogue can group up with Finn and maybe look for a play. Looking for the peekaboo. Finn jumps in first. It's three versus two for now. And especially with Photon coming down, Finn has to be careful how he trades this off. But again, isolating Hilly is the play. He flashes away in the arrow, follows through as well. Finn dodges away from the seismic shop and gets a flip. And Hilly just has to go in and die. But it enables the reset for Mark, who, who's now ready to play again. Video out with the fate sealed and Dagda in front of the Baron. It's definitely better though. I want to be a. a, a it's a Better I want to be Optimus Dagda because it feels better as Finn might be caught out. Hextech Ultimatum with the solo lane is moving into position. Finn has to all out the fake seal. Uses Finn's mid ulti as well. Hookshot wall dive, but it's Buffett. Finn gets a double knockback and they're overstepping here. Vitality over chasing, over greeting. And over the sole member on bot side. Vitality haven't reset. They're just going to continue to try and push for terrors because with the Ziggs, this goes down faster. They sacrifice inhibitor turret and maybe inhib. Maybe they want the gold dagger with the Baron buff. So Inhibitor's gonna drop on down. Vitality backing away as Finn holds the fort just in case it turns into something more. But Baron will still drop. Rogue still with a mega pick. And Some sort of damage in here. I can understand, look, the Banshee's Veil will help it a lot with the AP damage that's coming through, but it's popped so easily and now... Okay, Lars there it is. Okay. You're right. Hillisang flashes in, but under the Sun Turret isn't it. Never mind, Kazi's damage says no. Hilly might die here, but it's all about the range. Markun flashes away, away from the reset as Photon has moved on into position. So Ellis might be a trade, but the redemption keeps him healthy. And healthy enough he all is. All away from the Baron with low health bars. And now Vitality just gets started up. Comp won't be here. This is going to be four versus five. And Markun on a low health bar. No flash. He has to get in there mega quick, but doesn't. Even without the smite landing perfectly. Video comes in with a fake seal. That doesn't land, but the seismic shove does. Onda Finney looks to jump back in and stop the Baron power play with the all out. Onda Photon. In the meanwhile, Vitality have done their job. Mega Mega Inferno Bomb is just being thrown left, right, and center. All five out. Hoon has a little bit of life steal, but it only comes off the passive. I mean, right now at half HP, he's in the danger zone. And we're not talking about Tom Cruise in another movie as Photon jumps on over, but without a smite, Elder's going to go on down. But they're looking. The TP in topside says, hey, with Baron, we want to end. It's Stop a double TP as well. Stop the ports, Dagda yells. There's a glacial fissure that comes on out, and with the Elder, Hilly's going to die, but is it for the cause? No enhanced recalls. A slow turn to get back into their base as Larson is left here defending with only an inhibitor for the trade of a kill and elder. By hysteric stage is all I can say. Yeah, Finn started to back away, but great arrow from Comp. Just it's unfortunate bait, that yeah. there wasn't the communication on that in a video. He goes on in. I mean, how can he survive this fate seal interrupted as well? Video's about to be executed. Heartbreaker down and a shutdown. And now for top side with the wave where it is, it might be a big push to be set up by Rogue. Billy wants to go forward. Ooh, now his own is here. Look at Larson. I mean, again, he's starting to turn it out. The solar flare was huge with your health bar topped up, but he might need a little bit more here. Well, let's find out how much more. Sightsman Shove doesn't work. He gets altered here by Photon, but now with the Hextech Ultimatum down and the arrow flying through. Finn once again showing his own resilience. Photon has to get out of there. Hookshot Wall Divers Hilly could be the next target with all of Rogue Bot. But you look at Mint. Video should be happy with this if he can get some time. Hilly sacrifices his life, but that sacrifice is going to end up being a trade for Video as Finn TP's in. Finn's gone in behind him. Let's try and cut him now. Mega Blast Cone could save his life, but instead Video still taking oh. away. He's going to get his second Q. Finn just goes up in the air. A little bit embarrassing as a face sealed over the walls right into Marku's hands. Oh, now he's got nothing. He has nothing. 
There's damage, damage Fiend, Baron. even bringing some in. Same with Marcoon and Baron, we talked about it. Video just dead for too long. Whoa. What? What? No Why? Way. At like 85 no HP. Way. Hang on. They don't get the reset. They don't get the Baron recall. So Vitality, no. they're immediately going to start to move in. Oh, Kazi. I mean, 80 carry the split. Let's continue that trend, he says. Now mid's open. No way. I thought the spy was going to come through. And Kazi again with the extra tick that's happened. As Rogue find a bit of a reset. So the push will stop there. Photon dies. Kazi, we are going to need a replay, you absolute maniac. Wait, they're still going, Kazi yeah, with the flash, flash away. away. Maybe going to get hit hard, Damn. the exhaust is there, video comes through, hits only Zoellis, but Kazi is isolated. A satchel charge is good, but Finn has the gap close, has the kill, and Vitality caught running back after such a brilliant take of Baron have now lost most of their members. But Rogue, they still get the push. On the bottom side, trying to get the push in. He doesn't want to flip the game. He doesn't want to go for the base race. Rogue are here in numbers. Video and Linsis, they need to make the hero play, but Video has no ultimate. Flash, the only thing available, needs to stack up his Q. Linsis doesn't Surely get the Surely not again. The arrow does connect, though. Doesn't give Video time. He gets knocked back. Seismic shove into the GA. Linsis goes golden to play his own set of time, but Comp does the same. The flash away. Linsis, Seismic shove helps again, but onto Finn. He's tanky enough, but Video can't get the damage done. The range is there from Larson as the GA pops on out. In ten. Rogue find two more. Karzi's in 10. We've seen how much damage this ultimate can do. Hilly can you get the ultimate to set up for the game? HP on Comp and Finn as well. Is it going to be enough? Linsis gets target on Marcoon. He sends it over to Kazi again with a big bomb. But Marcoon gets the reset in the back line. Rogue may have done enough dagger. I think Hilly is the only thing in the way. And even with low health bars, you got Finn. Larson tanks him up. No minion wave. No. Are we coming in? There's just no time. 30 seconds on Photon. Rogue have done it. They found their moments. I cannot believe again Vitality have been trumped. And Rogue, welcome to the win club. That's one way to do it. Marcoon's expression is me. Shit. I am Marcoon. What the hell just happened? How did we go from Vitality having so much control in this game to ending like that? Upset, it feels like that late game scaling insurance, a hyper carry for upset, something we didn't get to see on day one. Curious to see what kind of form he's in. I mean, I will say, you kind of look at these mid jungles for both comps. Level six. What are we, what are we getting him for? Dragon going down. First major objective of the game. Oh, Targa, only level four. Supa just trying to zone him away from the tower. Dive. Good stun, and maybe ignite, he's only level four, Targa! You got no business being there! Alvaro grabbing the kill! I didn't think he could die to that. Think Down about it, think about right it, think now. about it. Gumiyushi, incredibly handsome, not passive. Okay, <laughs> that right now, based on this, actually, no, no, no. No, no, there, no, don't no, you no, say no, no, that. Hang on. There's a kill happening top lane, no, by the way. Hold that thought. pull back, solo bolo on Kana. Kana taken down by Mirwin. We okay. didn't need any talk. And overall, Minor gold deficit. I think you're right, though. You can see the setup here. Drake, minute 45 seconds away. Oh, hang on. Getting Drake a fight. Getting a fight. Good initial engage. It's solid on to Alvaro. Alvaro just going to get interrupted and pop. Super already missed the arrow and upset's taking it personal. That's an easy pickup for KC. Punishes Alvaro. Finally find themselves on the board. Dragon's still a minute and a half away, though, so just a single pick. Scowie has his eyes on upset. Upset, getting chased down, Frescawi man hitting the chains, and Upset's dead! Subath flash for his life, can the mid laner get redemption for his AD carry? Frescawi now going to be in trouble as well, El Yoyo with a clean disengage, excellent ultimate. Pick that one off. Okay, so you have good setup around this dragon. Both top laners have TP available, ready to get involved in the fight. New and though with a full level advantage, El Yoyo maybe split from his team here. El Yoyo, still doing okay for now. Hunted back, not ideal, mounts up into the Herald! It's so big, man. What? He's a genius! Look at him go! Oh! Oh, play the music! Ba, 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 ba. Oh my gosh. Cast him in the next one, fast 15. El Yoya will not be caught. I think Targa Masadi was gonna knock him into the wall, but that was a thing of to beauty. Into right the Herald? to run away to safety. Now the downside is this dragon being started off by KC. 
But Casey's positioning very awkward Indeed. here. Tarkmas immediately gonna try to ult Kana getting shunked out, dashing backwards. Super death for now to finish the kill. Flash forward, Elyoya and Supa getting the kill together. MDK really trying to take over across the map. Vladdy trying to get a tower back, will be able to do so. But meanwhile, on the tops of the map, Mirwin is getting something. But a Drake picked up for MDK. I'm not sure how this one's gonna pan out for them, but let's find out. Press Gowie jumps up, Vladdy loses Ooh. half his health. It seems like it's panning pretty good. It's panning out. Panning back to the Baron. Mira one trying to pull back onto Targamus. Grouping into the choke though, they have to be careful now. Dash in, coming in from Mira one. Mira one now isolated off the side, looking for the 1v1. Upset on his lonesome, left to Mira one. We should have had Mira one first upset be the match if this man's getting it all done. And once again, he keeps getting punted exactly where he wants to go. MDK taking the fight can turn back to the Baron, can take their sweet time. It's a damn handsome top lane that MDK have got. Mirwin just decimating the back line of KC, giving them no room to breathe. Of course, Targamas had already committed the ultimate earlier. So even though he wanted to act as a front line, it was super easy for MDK to just initiate onto the Alistair and turn it into a one fight. going to fizzle. Meanwhile, Mirwin just continues pushing mid lane and powering that cannon creep, knowing they can knock down the tower. Nice play from Friskawi to avoid that initiation. MDK not slowing down now that they have the Baron. They secure the mid inhibitor. They don't really have a wave on top to play around. Friskawi's going to go catch bot wave. I think overstacking on bot to try and push the dragon. But MDK, a very one sided game overall. Only a single kill for KC. 27 minutes in. They're just letting the Baron. Do the work for them. For Scammy, though. Good interrupt. Knock back to the wall. The Ignite marking the real target. A quick shutdown. Slowing down the initial push. Mirwan, of course, already in the mid lane, but... A little glimmer. Farmer. Yeah, but Chovying is when you have, like, you're keeping... Like, he's got 335 yeah, CS yeah, yeah. at flame, 31 minutes. Flame only gets credit when you're 100 ahead. Yeah, it's only yeah, 100 yeah, yeah, ahead. Of course, the, the true flame horizon. Is Alvaro cooking here? I think they're cooking. Looking for the angle. Mirwan coming through. Alvaro already fighting one, but the immediate follow-up isn't quite there. Vladdy trying to make his way out to safety, but again, Zuba already into the back line. That's another one taken down. Mirwan on a rampage. He's just not going to get stopped. He's ghosting. He's going as fast as he can. Connor ready to disengage for upset, but Jinx just doesn't have the damage. Close result. He already down. MDK barreling down the top side of the map, and well, Targamus is being herded. Sent out to pasture. The chain's now on. Yeah. Back to the farm he goes. I mean, MDK don't even need the Baron. They'll take the fight. They'll sweep KC once more. Only two members left alive. I don't know if Upset's going to have the wave clear to stop MDK from sieging. If he can buy another 20 seconds, there's a chance. But Mirwin is on the hunt. Mirwin not going to let it happen. Oh, with the slow as well. They don't quite sync up well enough. But Frescali coming in just means there's no way he can approach. There's just not enough handsomeness in the world to solve this problem. AC, do stop the push though. MDK don't want to overcommit. Kind of doing a good job of clearing the AC wave. now setting their sights on the second Baron of the game. It's a four item Ash. Supa looking unkillable. No real backline threat into any of these fights as MDK have almost always been the ones initiating the exchange. Jinx Rocket, dangerously close, but MDK going to grab the objective. Right, Lord Dominix obviously would feel so much better if you had the IE, but really want the additional attack speed here. Upset, doing what he can again to clear the wave. Celestial opposition procced onto Targamus. He's a little bit squishier, but of course still has his ultimate there. MDK want to keep sieging. Super doesn't have a lot of range here to approach, so Ilya finds a decent angle onto Vladdy. Good interrupt from Target to stop the follow-up. Now getting caught in the midst of the fight. Alvaro looks like he's about to shred. That's the reset now coming in for Upset. One more rocket gonna come out, but MDK already gotten one kill back. Upset locked up. Turning back under Press Cowie. Excellent engage! KC coming alive in the base. Mirwan pushed back, but again, they're so damned. Have to be careful. You're likely to have to give the tower up to Press Cowie. But I mean, they just melt those down. waves. Kana and Upset together. The foot back on El Yo -Yo, decent too. damage. Jinx starting to hurt. El Yo getting lower and lower. Rocket goes in, doesn't quite finish. Redemption to heal and get the reset. Closer in the back line, of course, ulting in to try to finish the kill, but does not get it. Alvaro goes to the re-engage and he's gonna get picked off. Jinx now getting the resets. Mirwin, how tanky are you? Not tanky enough. Upset finally online, but he might be able to turn it back. Clean flashback on the Pathmaker. Now Mirwin trying to make the escape, but the flick back is there. A shutdown for Upset and KC continue to hold the line. That's the second fight they've now won in their base. Is he grouped four, five now in the mid lane? Mirwin looking for the flank Look at the angle. Flank, yeah. Again, it's just about upset. They take upset out of the equation. It gets so hard. Good flick back to keep things off from Vladdy. Oh, yo, you might just get taken out before the fight even really starts. Mirwin off to the side, but how do they find an angle to get away? Upset now caught between the tanks. He's speeding up. He's running for his life. He's trying to play as clean as he possibly can. The cleanse is there. The healing isn't enough. The body box are there. Upset stays standing. And Casey take advantage in the exchange. Knockback. It's power blast.
Stone coming in for Kana to keep him safe. And now it's Supa who's been caught out. And it's Vladdy again trying to make the difference in the fight. But everyone is so low. KC pushing up. Supa definitely wants to finish it. The flash forward. Carmine Core fans coming alive. The shot down there. KC again. They find the angle, but this time they're barreling down mid. A game that felt impossible to win has turned into a miracle play from upset. KC have their eyes set on the Nexus, and they're looking to end the game right here. The blinking how far it was so damn close, but they managed to keep upset alive. They managed to make it work. Towers falling, KC fans standing proud, getting the edge in spring, and again in summer, they'll find their first win. A huge turnaround win for KC. The positioning in those final fights for upset was clutch. As cast as we talk about, needing those miracle moments to turn games around, but very rarely do we ever see them materialize. But that right there was one of them. Has to feel so good. Paris is gonna build. I, I feel like he's kind of forced to go AP. I don't even know if that build is still viable, but if he if they're really full AD against Ivan, Rel, Renick, I think it's gonna be hard to kill the frontline for Giants, uh, Giant X. Yeah. You know, Vi and her, she's a police officer. She's done the math. Enemy jungler probably has it. Oh, but the engage on bot side. Good look from Joan. A lot of damage coming in for Noah already. Patrick forced to back away. Root will be solid to kick things off. The Razzard's still coming forward. The Root still hits an Ignar. Gonna get taken down. Noah gonna finish off the job with a Foss Bomb. And first blood for Fnatic. It's a nice play from Razork. Getting those marks down, but if you ever do hit it, big damage to be traded back. Humor getting lower and lower. If this one hits, he's probably... He's base off. Yes, of course, already vested in the Phage. I'm keeping my eyes on Juhan in mid here. Juhan level five, humanoid no mana. Ooh, the Q flash! Nice play overall, just as he ticks over to level six. We'll see if he tries to make a follow-up play happen on the bottom side because Noah's already getting aggressive onto Ignar. Clean kill in the mid lane for Juhan. Balanced out by Fnatic in the 2v2 in bot lane. I mean, that's just a straight up 2v2 kill. You press tab and then yeah, you go yeah. to your AD carry. How does enemy Corky have infinity edge pull fast for this yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there's a TP coming in. In the top lane, Avaris is about to be here. They're really determined to shut Oscar down, of course. Now he's got no flash Ooh. in the back of the previous play, Ooh. but Jackie's hits. Yep, nice damage there from Jackie's. Oscar, if he could have just moved, there's a world where he could have killed. It seems like you would argue that scaling is the angle. Of course, the armor concern is a very big one, because again, once Fnatic are in a position to start stacking it, things get a lot harder. Seven oh, here we go. Engage onto Jun immediately. The Ram Gauntlet is called, and in the meantime, of course, Razzle able to walk out to safety. Jun also retreating. Noah getting taken lower and lower, but it's Oscar. Double dashing over the wall, GX still standing tall. All their ulties burned. Jackie's waiting off to the side, looking for a good all kill. Pull back from Humanoid, good. The Maw there, severing Bolt. But overall, Fnatic win the fight a bit closer. Like Noah has the trust fund that the scoreboard would indicate that he is sitting on right now. 4.2k gold lead, but he just, I think the range right now from the side of GX, especially the Varus poke, has just made it so hard to do much other than poke with rockets. Oscar now maybe the target once more. You can see Giant X running full steam ahead. Knock up there, call the Forge God, dash back. Juhan finding the lockup. Varus gonna follow. Senna coming in as well. And Jackie's now on a killing spree. It opens up the dragon. He's gonna be forced to base. He's gonna have the TP available though. Oscar's in the same boat and it's Giant X. I think they can kill this fast enough. The question Razzler. is, can they get out? Wants to go for the steal here, is close enough. GX have to be confident on the TP flank now coming in. 3k is getting lower. How much are they willing to bet on this fight? They're turning onto the backside and onto Jun in the meantime. Objective now taken away. Juhan managed to land this fight. The flash clear coming through from Oscar. Perfect. Dodges over a Vault Breaker. He didn't even need to see the Antonio running. Humanoid blinking health bar. But there is the Ivern. There is the shielding and Fnatic finding the fight. They do find the fight and they can likely turn this into a Baron as well. What happens when Oscar gets his paws onto Jackie's? There's very little he can do to escape. Hard to do. And again, clean from Oscar. Flashes over the Vault Breaker. Patrick here, Juhan here, but now they've been caught out. Oscar gonna fall off with the stun. Patrick forced to cleanse out. But again, it's a slow take on the objective. That said, GX unlikely to face check again. Now realize in a couple seconds how slow it was. And Juhan's now sticking around because he's like, wait a second, how long is this gonna take? It will finally drop. Used to shut down this siege. Giant X trying to find an angle. Patrick, big poke landing onto him. Here comes Juhan. 
We're all coming in. Juhan going over the wall, looking to shut down Noah. Noah now going to be in trouble, blinking health bar, but Antonio can't do it on his loan. So Juhan goes in, but again, the shielding. Disgusting from Razor. Buys far too much time. Three members standing strong from Giant. Severing Bolt connecting onto Ignar. Fnatic losing two, traded back for two on the top side of the map at the tier two. Being, but these objectives are still going to fall. They don't quite have the resources to keep them all alive. And another tier two will follow. Oscar needs to be careful. Jackie's does good damage. Oscar has hysterics passive popped. He will just die. My god, Jackie's finishing him off. Armed bodyguards of Ignar and the Antonio. The big boys. Are they going to face check? On poke. Root no. onto him. Joe no. immediately going to finally engage onto three, but the follow-up isn't quite there. Massive damage onto Patrick. Good poke coming through. And the Antonio looking for the angle. Isn't quite going to hit onto Humanoid. Humanoid out of the fight. Blinking health bar. Can still try to rain down a bit of poke. Jax continues to hit the arrows. Jun getting lower and lower. It's a slow, steady fight, but it's exactly what GX wants so far. They can't afford to get turned on. Noah is powerful, but the Root manages to connect. The follow-up damage, however, is not there. All of Fnatic retreating. Juhan with the wraparound. Juhan looking for the Miracle Flank. Juhanoi trying to go back to base and do the TP play once again. Oscar has his available, but he's very slowly healing up. He can't afford wall. to face check that. Ignar going to TP back in. Humanoid going to TP back in. Dragon not been sudded yet. Juhan stuck at the pit. He needs to get out of there. What is the angle? This is such a messy fight. Ignar incredibly tanky. They're throwing Daisy into the pit. Good. Jun still low. Celestial opposition taken out. Oscar, Oscar off to the side, but the it's turn. Awkward. They have to be careful not to get caught in the choke, but now it's Oscar who has to flash. Good damage coming through. Severing Bolt spot them out. Fist already taken down, and now he falls. Perfect start for GX. Fnatic are going to try to focus down the objective, try to get something back here. GX need to get more. Juhan desperate to get in the pit. Razork already on the way out, and it's the Antonio on the flank. Unstoppable goes in, finds the knockup, and GX descend upon them. The arrow over the wall, the rune, and target Jackie's unstoppable. It's still three members dead on the side of Giant. As Jad always says, 140 stacks, the break point. That's the ult. Spiraling Despair, Ignar gonna isolate himself. Jackie's still fine, they haven't taken away the Edge of Night. Really need to pop that Spell Shield. Yeah, front poke, not too reliable. The Antonio getting eager to kick things off. Humanoid pokes, good damage, oh. and he goes down! It was the pillar from the Orn to finish the job! The Lethality Bars, this is terrifying. Jackie's off to the side. The engage now coming through. Noah trying to find the 1v1. Noah trying to pop him. The damage from Corky is massive, but finally the shielding is there. Instantly he retreats back into the raiding arms of his team. Patrick getting lower and lower. Oscar body blocking for the carry there. And it's all now falling apart, but Juhan kills Noah. It's crucial for the side of GX. Traded back now. Oscar still standing. Support, jungle, top, together, trying to turn this play back. It's a two for one overall in favor of Giant X. They're keeping things interesting as their poke is doing serious work. Fnatic have to be careful about the overextension. But Fnatic just... Another ability could have been enough to finish off Jackie's. But now Fnatic with the setup on the objective. GX forced to face check, forced to walk into the darkness, using the Senna ult to get a bit of vision, but they don't see Jun. They don't see they Humanoid, this. crucially. The arrow from Varus could try to steal it all away. Juhan goes in, but he doesn't get the job. Noah manages to get the objective, and the jungler goes down. GX risks the 50-50. They do not get the bear, and what else will they lose as Fnatic start their red? This dragon is important, too, to deny the soul. But with no Juhan, no smite. Jun looking for an engage. Humor in trouble now. The poke is big. Jun, the immediate follow-up. It's clean to the mid lane. Giant X sticking around far too long. And Fnatic might use this wave to end it here. I mean, Jackie's has to go back to base immediately, but five members strong. Juhan will respawn, but they've got the Baron buff and they have the Nexus in their eyes. One last desperate hole. Jackie's and the Antonio here, but the poke. The Ivor makes this feel impossible. Oscar not even getting the chance to use a single ability. Just wants to stop Jackie's from pressing Q. And he will succeed in doing so. Juhan cut down in the blink of an eye. Fnatic taking the win over GX and a 37 minute nail biter. A valiant fight from Giant X. Their poke comp was proving difficult for Fnatic to find the engages that they wanted. Ultimately, though, Fnatic just went straight towards the Baron. It ended up being a flip with which they won and converted into a quick win, but Giant X definitely made Fnatic work for that. Certainly. I mean, remember they spent most of that game at a massive gold advantage on the side of Fnatic. So the fact that GX kept it as close as they did, good sign on this team when you think of things to come. But today, of course, Fnatic, just a better team. I mean, Jackie is definitely a player to watch for me this week. Another effective team fighting tool for SK, and I do think that they have that. They have range options, of course, Kalista a little bit shorter range, but I think Huey compensates for that. You have decent poke coming out from here, a little bit of poke. Um, and don't forget, 
Chance to celebrate. Everyone in the house, whether you're a GT fan or a fan of anybody, Hansa. Awesome. Challenger. When he used to play for like Millennium or something. I forget what team it was. Yeah, Millennium. We missed out on the TCL years. He missed out on TCL Internationals. And Mickey already getting the Halo Blades Prox going. But Hansa he's Hansa losing. To fire out of, but press the attack, making him a little bit stronger. The 1v1, he's got 2v2 killed again. G2's bottom lane obliterated by Hansama, managing to get the kill back. I would argue that's more worth it. Will we see this game? Uh -huh. Yike and Isma speeding down to the bot lane. The control ward already placed Tower, so Isma going to be spotted out first. Passive, going to get fight. taken away. Good damage onto Isma. Yike heavily favored in the 1v1 with the stun already there. Luan flash forward. The handshake, the pullback. They're trying to finish the job on a Yike. Yike getting lower and lower. Mickey trying to finish the kill. Yike flashing out, getting the tunnel back to safety. It's a bloodbath on the bottom side. Rahel only level one. Hazama doesn't have the same problem. He's desperate to finish the kill. The E, he gets the arrow. He has to flash in. The barrier blocking all of the fall oh. damage. And Isma's in trouble. Hazama going to get taken down again. Luan grabbing the kills. Luan everywhere in these fights. Handshake after handshake. Niski there with the pullback, with the maw. I think Mickey's fine. One more. Flash oh, auto nice finish. Flash. Thumbs up from Niski. So that is what two have seen in the current meta. A lot of bot dives outside of that SK game where they're diving in a level two. Isma here will be spotted. Instantly goes on to Mickey. Target already locked down. Stun is there. It's one squishy. Poppy Luan instantly grabs the kill. Excellent read from the side of SK. Yeah, I mean, Isma's... They're not out. They're not dead till they're dead. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Until they're gone. But uh, their favorite. The biggest thing about G2 is they did evoke some hope. And let's see if SK can shut some of it down. Roof. Yike immediately killed. Niski now caught up, but he managed to get the fear on the cap to stop any potential pushback going through. Berserk, oh. excellent. All D caps running out of angles, running out of places to run. And SK just taking their time here to finish off the kill. They're dominating G2 in this early, and that's a 2K lead at 10 minutes. A massive overset from Yike and SK with a great punish. But they can actually work with this team to set up a potential dive in top lane. Hansam is isolated. TP there, flashback from Hansama, flash forward from Isma, sidesteps the ultimate. Hansama now in trouble, Mickey trying to save, but already he's dead, and now Mickey might be in trouble too. Yike continuing to step forward, the bailout is there, they want to finish off this kill, but Rexai goes under, comes right back out, denies the bailout effectiveness, but still the kill is traded back. I mean, it's SK with two kills, they're looking for three. Mickey gets Ooh. interrupted on the knockback, it's clutch now, he lets back under the tower, Rahel in trouble, Rahel gonna drop, no bailout left. Mickey will at least get one in return. It's a two for three. Now we're gonna try to grab. A little bit more damage there. SK just continuing the pressure on the top side of the map, threatening for more. Meganar here, always a bit tricky to dive. Irrelevant might not get the chance to push any buttons. Wall not even going to come out, looking for the pound back. Does manage to get away for a second. The Price Seeker doesn't quite finish it. Now he's running. The house going to hit Mickey. He's trying to get away. Mickey's got the buckler. Can they finish Irrelevant the kill here? Running. The tower already falling down. Minionar's going to meet a movement speed steroid. Yike looking for the Price Seeker. Not quite going to hit. Irrelevant's getting tricky with it, but he's going to drop. Captain America hits him with the buckler and down he goes, but SK got two towers on the top side. They're gonna get mid as well. And now Hansama's gonna be the one in trouble. Cleanse already used, excuse me, barrier already used. Hansama getting run down the handshake to bring it back. Hansama can't finish the kill. No is the answer. The spear's stacked and Rahel is gonna grab that Baron, one. Baron, making sure they've been on the side lane. Caps in the isolated 1v1 up against Niski. You can see in the minimap from the top of your screen that there might be a fight in mid lane, so we'll keep our attention here. Going in from Isma, flashback from Hansama, still getting hit by the slow. Mickey X looking for the disengage here. Is gonna knock back two, and now Isma suddenly realizes this is not the fight that he thought it was. Hansel takeover is good, but Isma still likely to fall. Will get taken down, bailout not even used. Beautiful disengage. Your 3K up, your 2K up. Good job, but where is it gonna take you? But Isma oh. wants him to take it all the way to the base. Hansama now needs to back away, but immediately he's gonna see the cleanse. Piercing arrow coming through, it's not gonna do a whole hell of a lot of damage. Again, we're seeing the hostile takeover come out. Gonna clip Hansama, he's gonna auto attack the minions. Meanwhile, triple knockup coming in from Yike. Unstoppable now, broken blade in the midst of the fight. Mickey's got a good angle to keep this one going. Isma slowly getting cut down, irrelevant finally here. Rahel just doesn't do any damage. Broken blade more than happy to try and finish the kill. There gets one, looking to make it two. Broken blade again yesterday on the Camille. Broken Blade with a massive play in mid as G2 get initiated on, but turn the fight in their favor. Caps trades one for one against Nis. And now I it's mean, the really hard to disappear. play. Broken Blade's gonna get a solo tower. That's the last of it. Mickey now pulling the trigger on the fight. Isma trying to back away. Mikhail's not going to be too effective against the knockup. Mickey, again, just trying to front line alongside Yike here. They don't want to overcommit. Happy to just try and poke away. Nisky stepping up. Melting. They're getting lower and lower. Cap shredding through it. That's the power of the Azir. So we're going to take no the objective. Good poke here. 
Irrelevant trying to run in. Nice knockback. Pullback is good, though, for Mahel to keep them in the fight. Baron already down, but SK want to keep this fight going. Flash in for Mickey, though. The fall up there. Yeah, going to find the knock of Irrelevant off the side. Starting to stack the rage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Broken Blade finally going to drop down. Yeah, getting picked off, but Irrelevant is here. Shut down. Double kill for the Gnar on the chase, but doesn't have the flash. That should just be it. Two Baron buffs left standing for G2. Irrelevant finally arrives, and SK get a 5v5 fight, which they absolutely dominate. Three members of G2 die, they lose so many Baron Drops buffs. So much harder. Well, G2 have given up the Dragon in exchange for control over the top wave. The Zazia is just melting these towers. He'll get another one. They've opened up the inhibitor. Ruka. Irrelevant slowly stacking Rage. Again, flashless, but that's the W down. Clean onto Mickey. Mickey now in trouble where they just give him up. Mickey down. Yike pulled back. Good handshake. The tower there to make sure they can retreat. And already Broken Blade finding another pressure point, knowing the fight isn't really what they're after. The jungle. It is SK that is being suffocated in terms of resources. Caps. Ski, flash back. Caps now going to be in trouble. TP burn. What are G2 going to be able to grab in the meantime? Caps just dies. Just dead. They get the flash, but absolutely they, not worthwhile. Well, they get the TP out from Irrelevant as well. Can. There's so many good flash I mean, it's a dark pit. Now it's not. Information gained They G2. need to burn this down quickly. They can't afford to be indecisive. SK can just turn on this. Walking back to Caps. Caps just trying to root him up, just trying to flossy layer the CC so he can't even an ulti off. But Caps goes golden, buys a brief moment. Mickey X gonna go for the knock back into the wall, but Caps is already down. G2 on the chase. Irrelevant, not gonna be able to knock anybody back. Unstoppable is Broken Blade, but that's a severing bolt. Isma here to fall off, but G2 starting to get run down. Stun onto Broken Blade. Nothing left for him. The fear quaking in his boots as SK can just set their sights on the Baron. A fantastic sequence of events from SK. The initiation from G2 onto the mid lane is used by SK to gain control over the topside jungle and set themselves up for the Baron. Now they still want to contest the Dragon as well. This would be soul for them. They know they still have numbers advantage. That's still 20 seconds on Caps, who doesn't have TP. Mickey spotted. Boopin speed steroid, is it enough? Fear coming in, and now Relevant can chase. Nowhere for Mickey to go. That's going to be the soul for SK. Yike already backing away, and right like that, SK are back in control of this game. It was a shaky. Top lane wave to come in. Relevant off to the side, threatening. Yike can go for the flash knockup. But the follow-up might not be there. Broken Blade losing so much help before the fight even starts. Isma immediately going to follow up. Spiral and Despair forcing everyone else back. Now it's on Mickey to try and disengage, but Isma's not afraid. Is going to step up. Poppy getting cut down. Now there's nothing left to stop. The dash is coming through. Flash forward from the one. The handshake won't connect. Nice sidestep coming in from Caps for help. Continuing to leap around, continuing to back away. They've got the super minion in mid. This might just be the end for SK. Coming clutch in summer, the new players, the entire team coming together, but G2 can, they hold the line on top. Well, now the clean pullback coming in, Luan taken out. SK can't get over eager here, but Niski doing so much work, doing so much damage, Jack almost taken out, severing Bolt, not enough. The healing coming through clutch as he burrows up, gets back to the base. Hansama and Caps holding the line, Broken Blade there to it's... body block with four members still up on the side of SK, but I don't think they can close it here. I think they're gonna try, though they haven't given up just yet. No, they have, okay, SK will not overstay their welcome, but the G2's gonna flank. force it. SK has to be perfect here. They can't afford to give anything up. Isma stepping off to the side. Rahel might be the one who's gonna be in trouble. Knock back into the wall with the fear on. Broken Blade is clutch. Niski there to save his 80 carry. Broken Blade is overstayed. Yeah, going for the two-man flash. And now Caps wants to step in. Irrelevant getting taken out. Nobody's touching on Sama. He's doing so much work, G2. You can't do this to them. That was so close, but G2, again, they find a fight. They find an to claw their way back into this one. Caps chasing down Isma, the rest of the team chasing Irrelevant. G2. Them. G2 could flank on. Scryer gonna spot them out. Oh, they're melting this. Rahel for the on hit. So much work on the objective. TP. TP from behind. Mega SK need to slow it down. What is their call? Are they fighting? Or are they taking the objective? They can't afford to get it too low. Mickey now going to look for the knockback. Taking the jungler out of the equation. Caps can now step up. To the SK, they're off the Baron. G2 get it for free. SK now immediately need to find the fight. Going for the pushback, but Niski manages to make it work. Spire and Despair getting so many. The way damage is disgusting. And Irrelevant trying to chase down Hansama, but Mickey is there to save the day. Hansama is still standing. SK determined to end this one. The minions breaking the base. Mickey, Hansama. Broken Blade still alive. Broken Blade will fall, and SK will look to end it here. A massive team fight from SK. They don't care about the upset happen. Isma walking in, knowing the Varus can do nothing. Rahel does not have to be too scared. Mickey gonna give his life to hold on for a brief moment. One inhibitor respawns, but it is not enough. SK taking their sweet time. A win well earned, a back and forth game. SK finding a win over G2 Esports.
A crazy back and forth. A bit of a stop in the mid game from SK, but they stand proud. They out team fight G2, and they showcase that the changes are paying off. A huge win to start off the split for SK. I mean, Luana. <laughs>